the Science Center is we have approximately 14 different species of flounders. Uh, depending on the time of year, uh, we get different species. Uh, so there's window pane flounder. Uh, the most common are summer and winter flounders. Uh, but there's also halibut. Uh, that's a type of flounder too. Flounders uh, generally get uh, to about 12 uh, to 16 inches. Those are the kind of sizes that we usually see uh, here at the Science Center. Uh, a lot of times we also get juvenile uh, flounder, uh, but flounders also, uh, like the halibut, uh, can get uh, much larger. They can get uh, three to four feet or even larger to like five feet. Right now in the submerged structures uh, tank, we have uh, winter flounder. So the two main differences uh, but between the flounders, um, the flounder species in general, is uh, there's a right eye and a left eyed flounder. So right eye flounders have uh, their right side, their right eye is actually on top, um, and the left eyed flounder, it's kind of the opposite. So when a flounder is born, when it comes out of an egg, um, when it's born, it actually looks just like any other uh, fish species with an eye on both sides. And then usually within five to six weeks, one of those eyes will actually start to migrate to the top um, of their body. And depending on the species that it is, it's either the left or the right, uh, uh, right side. When the uh, flounder is developing, the skull as it's growing and developing, it actually twists. The eyes will migrate to the top of the head because the flounder right now is re uh, resting on his side. So he's on his left side. And if his eyes didn't move, then one eye would kind of be in the sand and one eye would be up. So something you know, with evolution and how uh, the flounders kind of developed, something had to move so the flounders would be able to see, you know, everything in the water and the water column and everything. And then for, you know, feeding too, so the eyes kind of, you know, rotated up and then the rest of his body kind of stayed the same. So that's why the flounders have a gill on the top and on the bottom. Just like any other fish, he has a fin on his left side and his right side. Those are the pectoral fins. So in the flounder, because he's a flat fish, he's resting on the bottom, he's resting on his side, he has one fin, one pectoral fin on the top, and he also has one on the bottom. Uh, in this particular species, uh, in our tank, we have a winter flounder. So this is a right-eyed flounder, and the right eye is actually um, on top. And the other thing uh, about flounders, they actually sit on their side, uh, not on their stomach. So. This is a right-eyed flounder, so it's actually its right eye, its right side is pointing up, and it's actually resting on its left side right now. And summer flounder are a left-eyed flounder. We sometimes get summer flounders uh, here at the Science Center also, and that's a left-eyed flounder. So it would look very similar to this, except the uh, left side, the left eye is actually on top of the body instead of the right, as in the uh, winter flounder. Flounders actually have a couple different types um, of camouflage, uh, one being uh, their skin. Uh, they have uh, certain pigments in their skin that they can actually mimic the uh, substrate in which they're living in. So like a sandy uh, bottom, kind of like this tank that we have here, uh, the flounders will be very light in color. And if there's a rock or if there's anything dark, they can actually uh, kind of take on uh, that coloration. Uh, so to make them blend a, you know, a whole lot better. And then in uh, a substrate that's you know, very rocky, you would see like different patterns uh, on the flounder in different colors. And the flounders being a flat fish, they can also uh, submerge their, bo their bodies uh, underneath the sand. So they get very low uh, in the sand and they actually use their fins and they can actually take the sand and cover their body. So just their eyes are sticking out. And they do that a lot to kind of ambush their prey. Uh, so they hide and kind of wait for, you know, something to come. And they also use that uh, to hide from predators. Flounder can actually see, like, all of the bottom, like the substrate and the sand. And they can actually see the shells um, that's on the bottom of the tank and any little uh, small rocks. So what this flounder is probably doing is picking up a little of that coloration to kind of match the bottom. So a flounder kind of wants to match, you know, as best that he can. So. Uh, you can see the sand here is very gray. Uh, this uh, particular flounder is very gray in color. He has a few black spots, um, that white spot, uh, and that's kind of the, uh, kind of like the sand in here. So we have some shells in here, some broken pieces of uh, shells also, and some little rocks. So he's kind of just trying to mimic uh, the bottom here as best that he can. In the wild, they're going to eat. Uh, any juvenile, like a small, you know, fish, uh, smaller than them, pretty much a lot of stuff that they can fit in their mouth. So uh, smaller fish, 
uh, crustaceans like little crabs, uh, little shrimp, uh, things like that. We try to give them different things so they're not always getting uh, the same type of food. So it's either squid, um, it's chopped up fish, um, it can be clams and scallops and also shrimp. Mm -hmm.